last part of the previous meeting, we were talking about indications for pacemaker on a patient with AFib. That's how we started talking about AFib. So what I would like to do today is review for five, 10 minutes the indications of pacemakers on patients with AFib and bradycardia, and then jumped, jump into um, what is AFib, what causes AFib, uh, what kind of problems AFib causes to the patients, and what does a patient, uh, what kind of explanations do we give to a patient when they come to clinic about, about this, about what is AFib, how do we treat it, if we have to treat it, because sometimes you don't need to treat it. So let's start with this case. This is a 55-year-old gentleman with persistent AFib that was admitted with cellulitis, and telemetry goes off at 2 in the morning for what you see now. So, who's telemetry here? Who's uh, you're the tele tech or nurse? A nurse. Nurse. What's your name? Uh, Matt. Matt. All right, Matt. What do you see? Looks like we got a pause. And let's see. I can't see how many spaces there's going to be. Thirty-five hundred seconds. So three point five seconds. So that's a pretty fast. <laughs> Pretty good pause. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then they go back into their uh, atrial rhythm there. Uh, yeah. It looks like atrial fib. Right. Thank you. Yeah, so there's so, so you get a pause in the uh, fib waves that come back after the pause. Okay. Anybody agrees or disagrees or has a question about that? So let me see if I understand what you say. What you see is <clears throat> um, there is an atrial st standstill, basically no atrial activity, and for 3.5 seconds, and then AFib starts with conduction. If you look at the or, strip yeah. above that, it looks like maybe 15 seconds before there was a smaller pause. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. two second pause or one and a half second pause. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so you're talking about yeah. this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the 3.5 second pause is that one there. Cool. Now, going one thing at a time, what I am not sure is if this over here is atrial standstill or is AFib with slow AV conduction or AV block. So I'm not sure about that, but we do see that for three and a half seconds, we have no QRS. And then we have AFib. All right, wh what else? Um, so you're at two in the morning, the alarm goes off. How much adrenaline do you get when you see this? Are you worried of uh, the patient might die? You're a little worried, or you just turn off the, the alarm and keep going? <laughs> <laughs> a little worried. All right. What would make you very worried, or a little worried, or not worried at all? Two in the morning, patient admitted for cellulitis. What's your name? Meryl. Meryl. Yes. All right. So Matt here, let's say you're the charge nurse for Matt. And she is. Oh, she is. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I knew that. No, I'm just kidding. So let's say Matt sees this and like, Marilyn, um, there's a 3.5 second pause. What should we do? Would you have any questions for him? What questions would you have for him? Yeah. Right, so you want to see the patient, yeah. All right. So, because if it's just a three and a half second pause that's not reproduced at any other time in the night, shouldn't we be so alarmed that we call somebody? Depends on the patient. Or if they were up going to the bathroom. Yeah. Or if the, he, he was saying if uh, if maybe the patient was at the bathroom or something right. like that, right? Yeah. So, so Matt, was the patient symptomatic? Was he awake or sleeping? No, let's see. 
he was awake, but he, he says he didn't notice anything. He was doing different. I've, so, I've, I've seen a guy with five second paws, and he looked like he was at a death table stare. He freaked out. Yeah. So he was symptomatic. I've seen a symptomatic and asymptomatic. Yeah. So this patient, Marilyn, was asymptomatic watching TV at 2 in the morning. So Matt, you want to ask her, when should we get worried, no? So Marlene, when should we get worried? When the pause is longer than, when it causes symptoms, of course, or when it's longer than five seconds. Five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So basically, asymptomatic pauses in patients. So number one, asymptomatic pauses. So asymptomatic pauses that are less than five seconds we do nothing. What if it's asymptomatic more than five seconds? What should we do? Well, it depends. Mm 